you want me to zip this up? Yeah, I'll help you zip it up. I think your zipper, oh there it goes. All right, good job. Zippers are tricky sometimes. Toby, I'm really surprised you did not just jump in that puddle. Your self-control, it's astounding. <laughs> Better get some vitamin D today. You're getting some vitamin D? <laughs> good, good, good thing to do. The sun is pretty low in the sky to be trying to get vitamin D. Hey, silly birds. Hello. Oh, look at the bird that's packing in that. A lot of the chickens are already up for the night. Um, it's about 30 minutes before sunset. Just happening really early. Of course, the time change happens this weekend. I was reading an article, I didn't realize this, but Arkansas was actually going to opt out of daylight savings and then 2020 was crazy so I guess they decided to like change that and not do that differently but it was interesting to me so I started reading <laughs> is Benjamin coming oh here it comes I started reading about how several states were talking about not doing it and they were doing all of these different uh, studies about if it actually helped save energy or use more energy and how it originally started in the war is really fascinating I don't I really hate daylight savings in the spring it's like I, I really don't like when it happens but right now waking up and then being up and it still being being dark at like 7 30 it's just hard to get the kids up and going so I'm actually looking forward to the fall back this weekend last like last week Manny was like right in front of the gate and chickens were like getting on him but just yeah, the chickens, they get on top like of Manny's, Manny's back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you can't go inside of the tiny high tunnel. High tunnel. <laughs> Benjamin was looking out that and he said, Mom, it looks like there's a tiny high tunnel next to the big high tunnel. I said, actually, that's a low tunnel. What? I have one of tall ones. Uh, yeah, well, actually, those tall ones grew by themselves. But, yes, the chickens are going to eat those plants. I watered those tall ones. Yeah, you watered them. That's fine. You know, if we grow plants for our chickens to eat, that's still good. We eat the chickens' eggs. Yep, the chickens are going to eat all of that. We'll probably actually move this over a little bit more too. But So this is called a low tunnel. For those of you watching, this is a fabric. This is the, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the medium grade fabric. We bought it from Grower Solutions. I think it's like a jacket. Do you see this? Do you can see? I get in? I'm gonna go inside. Um, yeah, y'all can go inside. Just Wait, be what? careful not to, hey, hold on. Be careful not to knock this around. Go low. It, it's a low tunnel. Okay, okay, you can okay. shut it. Are you coming in? It's a low tunnel. What's under here? It's a low okay. under Oh here. gosh. It is low. Yeah. <laughs> so this is actually double layered fabric, which means it's not gonna let in a ton of light, which means we're not gonna be able to leave it like this just for a really long time. But there are some squash growing in here. If y'all see these. And these were volunteers and I wanted to let them have a chance past the freezing, so. Okay guys, let's come out. It smells like squash actually. It smells like vegetables. Ben said it smelled like ground cherries and you said it smelled like vegetables. So my thought with this is, is we can just cover it. Right now, we had a couple of really cold nights in a row. After these cold nights, I'm gonna start taking it off in the morning and putting it back um, in the evening to just cover it up from the frost. I don't know if we'll be able to carry those long enough. They're not very mature, so it might not work. This, however, has been really interesting. I wore, no, what? <laughs> was. 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 I was. Toby, I'm on the way, Toby. I was going to eat soda. Let Toby, I'm on the way, buddy. Yeah, you can go eat some. I want a banana. Okay, so I gotta go turn the water off in here. You can pick a banana pepper. You're fine. The right there next to you. This? Yep. I wanna pick What's a good one. one. That's that's kale. That's kale. You can have some. So I was out here earlier. I should have come out here about an hour ago and shut this up because the sun went down enough that it lost a lot of heat. It's okay. It'll be fine. Check this out. So this is from doing chores earlier today. These are dirty because it's been raining the last few days. But we got a new green egg layer. These are all of our spring chicks from Murray McMurray that we got in. We definitely got several new egg layers, different shades of blue and green. I'm really excited to see that. Also, 
That's a lot of eggs. That's like two and a half dozen probably. Just in one day. Pretty cool. Hey, y'all gonna help me dig up some sweet potatoes real quick? Yes! No okay. Thanks. No thanks. So I took one of my little tomato plants. I've got all these tomato plants coming all out in the walkways and I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let them. We're gonna see what happens. Many of you have asked, but I've noticed, like I left this one, I've noticed that the stem is getting pretty skinny at the end, which means this probably aren't gonna last a whole lot longer. So I took one of the bigger ones, stripped the bottom leaves and planted it real deep right here. It's still laid over, but it should stand up. Um, we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna stay warm enough in here for it, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I got out here earlier whenever we were doing chores since when I left that bucket of eggs back here and it was hot. It was really hot in here. So I opened the front of the back door and the plants were just slightly wilting, but it was like two in the afternoon. So I knew we were kind of like at the peak of the heat and it was gonna start going down. So I didn't really wanna open it up and I just opened the doors and started giving them some water. They were due to be watered. Everything's perked back up. It is now a little chilly in here, but it'll be okay. Managing this this winter is really gonna be a learning experience, but I'm just already loving it so much. Hey, all ready to dig some potatoes? All right, so I started this a little bit earlier. I carried some of them in, um, but I figured we could come back out and do it. So up here on this end, these are actually some purple sweet potatoes. It's a different kind than the rest of them. The rest of them are Beauregard sweet potatoes, but these are some I got from uh, Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead sent me these slips. I'm in a sea of sweet potatoes. Yeah, sweet potatoes. You're in a sea of sweet potatoes? Uh-huh. Nice. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let's dig. Y'all watch one now. Now hold on, she's about to do it again. Girl, you're a funny. Hey, girls. She is such a peculiar goat. She she does that. This was just a brief one because she saw me walking up. They saw me walking up but she will stand up on her back legs. I've timed her and watched her do that for like over a minute before, where she just walks on her back legs to even the tree. She's such a funny goat. We've got all the rest of the Nubians in there with Thorn Oak and Shield right now, just to make doubly sure that they're exposed and bred. I'm not gonna make much. Well, come dig with me. This looks okay. like there's a bunch right here in this little spot. I, I know, look at this cluster right here. I got one. I took it too. That's a really big one. <laughs> okay. Need some help? Look, it's a root of them. Yeah. Look here. Wait, sometimes what you need is. I got a potato right there. It's a big old cluster of them. Let's yeah. see. Can I see them? Oh, yeah. This I just like seeing potatoes. What is this one? Yeah, okay. that is. This one's gigantic now. Okay, let's get the potatoes. Hold on. They're really big, so dig them down, okay, so we don't break them. Uh, yeah, you can step on it. I mean, don't just traipse on it for the sake of stepping on it, but if you need to step on it to get past, you can. Um, I'm gonna step on it to try and find potatoes so other people can get because I'm not a fan of Digging, so you're gonna be the spotter. You know, one thing you could help do is tear up the greens. You, you love spotting. I, I, I love tearing. I I'll get it. it. Oh my God! Why one instead of a cluster? It's just. Uh, I think it's a cluster. No, it's a like, huge one. This is the biggest. Like, but this. Where do we put them at? Like oh uh, God, right behind you. Look, see there. I've got, stop! I've got one right behind you. We're not gonna be able to dig very many today. Yeah. Wow! A huge one. Look Matt. at that. <laughs> this is huge. Matt. Look at in the side. Look at. Oh, look wow, at that. That, looks like a, that one looks like a potato from Joe's. No, that looks like a from Joe's. Oh, oh, like oh, this is a big one. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's one big one. Oh, once we start, right. once we get that, I'm you trying to touch. Making this place. That's going to like, be. Can I start pulling the roots? Mom, I'm talking about those. 
Okay, those are actually not called the roots. That's called the vines. Look at this. Okay, this is, that's the biggest look one. Look at this oh. one. <laughs> that's huge. <laughs> you should take a picture of this one. Oh, I'm making like, a video of it here. Hey, that looks like so a bad. That looks like a mouse. It's a little guy. Does this look like a mouse? <laughs> no. That looks like the biggest, that looks like the one of the biggest right. water balloons. <laughs> this is huge. Mom, I want to be doing that. Okay, well, get up in here and do it. Here, come on. I no, won't no. come in here, Mom. Okay. Well, remember last time when you were coming that way? See, these are I a little harder this time because we left them out here longer. I dang, that was a more. huge one. And they yeah. big Hold on, let's dig right here. That's long, that's long. Hey, big. Right here. Can you get in it? A medium, a medium wall. Okay, that's a medium. Look, medium wall. Oh, medium no, large. This is a large. Like large. It's large. medium. Medium. Small medium. to medium. Medium. Wait, what's big, Mom? What's big? She's actually well, standing up. What's medium to big? She's actually standing up. Look at her. Oh, the goat is standing up. She's medium. Mom, medium. Mom, medium is medium to large. Mom, she's Capedium. doing this. Medium. Mom, she's okay. doing this. Yeah, she's a weird and guy. Can I? Let's hey, check. Just pretend it's right here because there's a bunch of weak pointing back. Like a bunch. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Ugh, you have to. Hey! Let's tear this out. See out. some? Yeah, there's one right there. He's talking to me. Ben sees some too. Mm -hmm. There's a piece of white there. Look. Look at Ben mommy. found. Look, Mommy! Did you find some? Oh, nice one. I found another one. It's ice. Okay. Is it spying on us? Well, I mean, it's videoing us. It's not spying on us. So, we're definitely seeing some bug damage because I waited to dig these, but uh, a lot of them are still good. So far, only about 10% is damaged, and really, it's not that bad. All right, so here's our good pile. You found thousands. Gosh, we'll eat forever. You can see here, there's a couple that are bug damaged. This one's actually probably okay. That one just broke. two layers that we found. Oh gosh. But you can see something got into that one. It's okay. So I like to dig away some from the bottom to make sure I don't accidentally break any in half. Oh, good idea, Mom. Oh, thank you. So firm. Wow, that is a pretty big cluster. Don't you think so? Yes. It's a giant root. Root tubers. Okay, I'm kind of make it so our friends can see. I gotta check my. I want to. I want to take a video right up close so they can feel what it feels like to dig potatoes. It's so exciting to uncover them. Look! Look! Look at right there. Oh I yeah. Have to tear roots off. Tom, come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, potato. Look right, right here. here. Oh, good. Ah, uh, that's a rock. Oh. Tom, look right here. Right here. It's. Uh, uh, oh, that's a huge one. Okay. Look, it goes up to here. Isn't yeah. it exciting whenever you Mom, unearth them? Yes. Isn't it like treasure? Mom, this, one, this one looks like really big Tre too. Tre oh. Look. Yep, treasure that you can eat. That is so correct. Yep, that makes me. Oh man, I broke that one, but you'll get to kind of see what the inside of these look like. It's weird. It's but it's a purple one. Purple. These go down deep. Mom, these ones are not. Hold on one second. No, those aren't purple. Those are the orange ones. Why are they digging it? Like, why are they digging right now? So why is there different colors? There's just different varieties, like how we have different colored tomatoes. Mom. Wow, look at that one. Oh wow, Mom, look right That's there. A nice one. Okay, yeah, take that. like fishing and you find a huge fish and you're like, dang, this is a big one. <laughs> it is oh, what Mom, it's like. It's so big. It's big. Whoa, Toby. That's a nice right one. Right there. Oh, it is. If Uncle Drew were fishing and catching fish, like we're catching these sweet potatoes, I bet he would be so excited, huh? Yeah. Like finding that big of a fish. Oh, there's I'm a big one. I bet you guys do really nice ones. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, they are nice, aren't they? <laughs> I want to go fishing. Oh, big one. All right. I guess the other one, but still. Look at these. Will you get those and pick them up? As we get back here and pull oh, the vines up. Okay. bit me. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Mom. Grub. Gross. I need help pulling the vines. Toby, help as we pull the vines back. Okay, I'll help. Y'all know what I think of when I dig potatoes like this? Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. Just think of how nice my shower is gonna be when I take it. Yeah, so nice. <laughs> it's nice to get good and dirty sometimes so that you can me. appreciate getting clean. Mom, look at me. You look great. Look, you down. just. Mom, oh, what a nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that one right after this. Look, I found another. There's another Check big old it. clump right here. Big one. Hold on, be careful with the camera, please. Yay! Find the candles and stuff? Uh huh. Okay. It's a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Wait. All right. Wait, do you have that? Whoa, that's good. good. Oh, man. These go deep. Wait, wow. Why have you left them for a long time? It it's probably is because I left them yeah, for so long. That's so weird. Mom, can, I, Mom, can I keep pulling potatoes? Um, the Mom, vines will hold on because it's getting dark, and I don't want to pull vines where I'm not able to dig because I don't want them to be exposed. Okay, let's dig the... I don't want to dig it. It's too grubby. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Bye, boy. boy, so I don't have to dig the grubby things. Mom, are you up? <laughs> Mom, how do I have Mom, how high high boy. High boy. Yeah, yeah. That is a gross grub. I don't want to touch it. I don't either. No but I do. Does. I can't let him have my potatoes. No one wants to have their potatoes get sweet. I just think about this. Think about the sweet potato hash. Do it for the hash. Oh, oh, also, for the sweet mash, also for dad's sweet mashed potatoes. Mashed sweet potatoes with maple syrup. Yes. And well, if I wash that, I'm going to kill, like, I'm going to kill that glove. I don't Yeah. Need to <laughs> yeah oh, I have a queen. Hey, hey, can I do what I'm, can I do what I would be careful? for? What? Sweet potato castle. Yeah. I found out that right. sweet potato hash, that's the best sweet potato hash in the world I can. Okay, so we just dug about eight feet here of this patch, which is about six times this large, and just dug up. I would guess that to be, I don't know, that's probably about 30 pounds of potatoes. It's not bad, considering a few of them were lost. I definitely like a big pile of food, even if it's dirty. I am really bad about looking at projects that I know I'm gonna get like really dirty or really need to get into it. My camera's filthy. Um, and thinking, okay, I'm gonna, I'll do that when I have enough time to do it entirely. And it's just something that I've always dealt with. It's, it is a good trait to have big ideas and big plans and like to do things in excellence. That is a good thing but it's not good when it cripples you from getting things done. And like this week, it has rained all week. And I've looked at this potato patch and thought, oh, I really hope that I did not lose all of those potatoes because I kept putting it off until I could dig them all out at the same time. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and start on this. I knew I was not even gonna get it halfway done because it's almost dark. Um, but, I got some dug. Now I know that they're still good. Most all of them are still good. And uh, and that makes me glad. So I'm gonna be able to get out here this weekend. It's gonna be sunny. Okay, yeah, y'all can go play tag. And yes, until, it's almost time. They don't wanna miss the end of the video. So with sweet potatoes, you gotta cure them, which means laying them out flat in like a pretty warm, pretty humid place. In the summer, I did that in my high tunnel. It's not warm enough in my high tunnel to do that now, but it is warm enough in my house because we're running, we're running the heater now. And we have this big walk-in closet off of our laundry room. It's just this big storage room, which is really awesome, but it is kind of our makeshift fruit cellar. It's where we store things like potatoes, and that's where I'll keep these. I'm gonna take these, lay them out, you don't wash them, you leave them dirty, and you leave them there for like several weeks. Uh, last time we started using them after about two weeks and they've been good, they weren't too starchy. So I know some people say they're too starchy if you don't let them cure. I'm gonna go up here and get something to haul those in with. I think my wagon is in the basement. I'll carry these eggs up so I don't forget them out here. I am gonna go ahead and run through the coop real quick, see what else we got today maybe get the eggs out before they have an opportunity to make a mess out of them. Who's it? I am. Hey, you night birds. Why aren't you in bed? It's down here. Ooh, that's not a good idea at all. How about there? We got some straw today to lay down here and hopefully help with the mud. Oh, Manny. 
Alpacas don't eat eggs. What are you doing? Ironically, they had not gotten these eggs dirty yet, but I picked them up with my dirty hands. I'm not sure I didn't get them dirty. It was in there. You can tell when they're new layers. You can kind of see, um, sometimes you'll see a little blood or something on a new layer. Hey buddy, it's a pretty good egg haul. Good night girls. Good night Manny. I'm actually gonna come out here tonight and catch these random hens that don't go back in the coop and they're the ones that are gonna go in that little mobile yard with the chick shawl. These are two of my white marons that I really want to live, but they won't stay in the coop. They just go and uh, roost outside and I'm really thankful they haven't gotten nabbed by a critter yet, but they need to go somewhere where they'll be safe. I just hollered at the boys to come and sign off this video with me so they don't miss it. We're gonna go in and get something to carry those sweet potatoes in, but I think it's probably gonna be too dark for the camera by the time we get back out, out here. Hey, come here. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready to do this? Everybody, okay, get down. Get down. As you're not on my back, y'all are gonna knock me over. Y'all have way too much confidence in my strength. Okay, look here and smile. Look right there and smile. Okay, now everybody, can y'all say thank you for hanging out with us this evening? Yeah, thank, thank you for, you for hanging, hanging out with us this and evening. And for digging sweet potatoes and finding treasure. We so appreciate you guys and we bless you. Until, until next time. time.